many different cultures, nations. It is the Cabrillo Festival. It is the 55th annual. How many how many years since the the official landing? Well, it's actually 476 days today. Today, today, today is the day. So our event, of course, is tomorrow. But, yes. But uh, today, yeah. Today is the day that Juan Cabrillo landed, discovering what we, we call the the Plymouth Rock of the West Coast, right? Bow's Point, yes, in which he <laughs> uh, he had named it uh, 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 San Miguel Harbor. Well, Brian Sack, you're joining us here to tell us all about uh, the, the free event this weekend that really is in, in celebration of, of this. And I, Juan Cabrillo joining us. Uh, tell thank us, you, Juan. T thank you, Juan, yes. Tell us uh, really about the, the reenactment and what exactly it is that we celebrate on this day. So this is the first time that uh, a, a European uh, influencer or explorer actually came uh, to San Diego. And that's what we're uh, celebrating. And we'll bring together uh, the, we'll have Mexican dancers, we'll have Spanish dancers, and we'll have Portuguese dancers. And we'll also have an American Indian that will give a, uh, a talk as well. And, and exactly, exactly what it is that is so important about Juan Cabrillo and, and really the, the culture that he, that he brought here. Well, yeah, that was the first European influence uh, in this whole region that they hadn't even seen any, uh, you know, besides Indians. Right. So that's why that's kind of, and it happened, you can go act to actually where it actually happened 476 years ago. Okay, we get sort of the actual reenactment. Uh, so that's at 1 o'clock. Okay. So they'll come in on the San Salvador and uh, uh, they'll shoot off the cannon and then uh, uh, Juan will make his way uh, onto the beach. Now, Juan, do, do we want to give another name for you? Uh, I'll take Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo or <laughs> Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo in Portuguese, yes. Okay, and, and you take part in this in this reenactment. Is this the first year that you're going to be doing this? 24 years. 24 years, and wow. I only promised four. <laughs> <laughs> when, why did you keep coming back? The excitement was just too much to, to resist? Part of it, yeah. I mean, it was, it was to celebrate, like I said, part of my culture, which was the Portuguese. Um, and then also, the interaction with the kids. I get to go to the elementary schools, uh, fourth grade. Uh, they study California history. And uh, ironically, after I did it for a few years, um, my picture actually replaced the photo of Cabrillo in the, uh, the study guide, the book. So you can actually find my picture as the picture of Cabrillo in the book. That's how long That's I've been doing it. a little bit of a whoops. <laughs> well, ironically, uh, my daughter, when she was in fourth grade, um, she did not have that section of the education yet, and some of her friends had it first, and they said, your dad is dead. <laughs> wow, and my, my wife had so to, interesting. My wife had to go to the school to explain to my daughter that her <laughs> father Still was... Still well was, alive. Yes. Yep. That and, was it. So and it's, it's the joy of that. It's the joy of celebrating um, a discoverer that basically is considered uh, for this region, you know, more of a peaceful explorer, not a conqueror. Yeah, we won't get into the controversy of the cultures, but it really is just about bringing several cultures, the Portuguese, the Spanish, everybody together Correct. for this celebration, right? Yeah, well, the whole community, and that's what it is. It's an open event for the base, so Captain Dixon, you know, has is, is welcomed us onto the base uh, where it actually happens, so we'll have activities for uh, for children, everybody from all ages. We'll have a, uh, a beer garden. We'll have sangria in there for the adults, so come on out. <laughs> a little bit for everything, and do you want to show the, the, the proclamation, I guess we'll call it, of, of the actual landing Red. that happened today in 1542. September 28th, 1542. 16th century explorer Juan Cabrillo. We appreciate you looking so well preserved and plenty being here today. Well. <laughs> so plenty of food. And All food the as well. Food. Spanish paella. food, paella, paella. paella, my favorites. Yeah. Portuguese. So we have a little bit of everything. Check it out. It is a free event happening Saturday and Sunday. We'll have more information on our website as well at KUSI.com. Right now we're going to send it out to Kearney High School where Allie is, is still excited from the pep rally. Good morning.